Igneous rocks are formed when molten rock cools and solidifies. The name comes from the Latin word ignis, meaning fire. Volcanoes happen at a weakness in the Earth's crust. The crust is very thin compared to the size of the whole Earth. Below it lies the mantle, an enormous layer of solid rock, which in some places gets hot enough to melt. A volcano erupts when this molten rock, or magma, is forced upwards and out. It forces its way to the surface through cracks in the crust and pours out as lava. The lava cools and over time a cone-shaped mound of newly formed rock builds up. The speed at which the lava cools determines which kind of igneous rock is formed. These two rocks both came out of the top of a volcano, but they're totally different. It's really light. It's kind of like a, a sponge, but it's hard. This one, this one's all jagged. It's heavy. It's a nice colour. It looks like coal, but it's not coal. Well, first of all, this one. It's really light, isn't it? This was actually spurted out the top of a volcano really quickly. I suppose it's a bit like a bottle of fizzy water, really. It's got loads of bubbles in it. If this was frozen, all those bubbles would stay in it and you'd see spaces. Just like the spaces in this. They're just loads of air pockets that have been frozen when this cooled. This is even light enough to float. It's called pumice. It's too light to be used for building, much better at getting that rough skin off your feet. On the other hand, this igneous rock, basalt, is much tougher. This one's really, really heavy, isn't it? It's heavy because there aren't any holes in it. There aren't any gas bubbles. It was actually erupted quite slowly out the top of the volcano. This one won't float. While basalt and pumice are two rocks formed from lava erupting out of a volcano, most igneous rocks are formed deep underground. This happens when the molten rock doesn't make it to the surface. It forces its way into existing rocks, cools down and crystals begin to grow as it solidifies. This is how igneous rocks like granite are formed. So how does the rate of cooling affect the crystals? 